What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Coach Rob619 back with another fragrance review. Um, as you've seen in the title, this review would be on Amber's Port Home Intense. Now, I recently received this bottle in a swap from my boy Mgele1, you know, down there in Louisiana, uh, another fragrance reviewer, uh, one of the best of the game. You probably already know about him. If you haven't, go check him out, subscribe to his channel. Um, he's been doing this a lot longer than me, so I'm sure you've probably heard of him. Um, but anyway, we were recently in a swap a couple of months ago, and I was looking for something, you know, a little darker in my collection, as you guys know. I got my citrus and I got my frag, you know, uh, I mean my fresh frags on deck all day. Like, I got a whole bunch of those, so I'm trying to, you know, diversify, I guess you may say, my collection and get some darker things, you know what I mean, a little bit, you know, having my, you know, my collection a little bit, you know, deeper and, and, and more sense than just fresh and aquatic. So this fragrance you know fit the bill for me perfectly this is something that's in heavy rotation um for me this fall and definitely will be for me this winter and um here goes the bottle um i'm sure you've probably seen it it looks just like the original virgin's bottle cap um sprayer um nothing on the back just some information on the bottom and this one for you guys that smelt the original version the, the purple juice they smell um, pretty much, they, they have the same DNA. This one is, is, is quite different. I sprayed some on earlier. The original Port Om, a lot of people on YouTube say it's a, uh, it smells like soap or whatever. And it, it kind of does, but a feminine soap to me. Um, that's definitely a, a metrosexual unisex fragrance. You know, guys can pull it off, obviously. Um, I've, I've worn it a couple times, but I kind of feel uncomfortable when I'm wearing it. You know, the original one, man, it's kind of, it just gives off like a, a you know, a, a woman vibe or just real, real metrosexual vibe. So I, I, I barely wear it. Um, that's some, you know, outside of what I normally wear. So I like to try to, you know, change the game up a little bit and put it on sometimes. But this one, right here this is definitely a more masculine version of the original like I said they both share that soapiness and this one reminds me just like the bottle this reminds me of black soap now most of you out there watching this video are not familiar but this actually is a black soap you know a lot of African-American males um, you know I've used it at once one time we, we're um, prone to getting um, razor bumps and black soap helps with like uh, razor bumps you know, on your face and behind your head you know, when you shave. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll put a picture of uh, black soap right here so you guys know I ain't BS it. But there really is black soap. So some don't get the soapy vibe from it, but I actually get the soapy vibe because it smells just like dark soap or black soap. Um, anyway, uh, besides that, what does it smell, smells like? Now, this opens up, like I said, with, with that soapy vibe of the original, but it's much sweeter. It's much sweeter. It's way more masculine. Um, and it's, it's, it's real sexy, man. This is definitely a sexy fragrance. I can, I can, I can see women thinking that um, you know, this is a sexy frag. And it's pretty linear on my skin, though. It doesn't change too much. So that's that clean soapiness that you get in the beginning, that sweet soapiness, it pretty much stays throughout the whole duration. Now, in the mid... I pick up like a vanilla. Like I don't know. Other reviewers have said it has incense in it. Um, I couldn't find anywhere where it, where it listed an incense. And I don't know. I sprayed it on about an hour ago. I don't know if that's incense that I'm smelling. Um, it's kind of almost boozy a little bit. So it could be the incense, or it could be a, something that's giving a a like a boozy vibe off. But I picked that up in the mid, and it pretty much stays like that throughout the whole duration. So it's a clean, vanilla type of scent. Real masculine vanilla, though. Not a um, feminine vanilla. Not an extremely sweet. It's just a real clean scent. Like something that I would feel a person would wear, you know, with a suit and tie. Um, a formal event. Uh, maybe a dinner is probably where I would wear this intense version. You could probably even pull this off in the office. If you work at an office where you dress up nice, I mean, most places people work, you dress up nice, but if you a little bit like you wear a tie to work, I think this would be definitely a great office scent in the fall because it does it does smell like I just think of a person wearing a suit or a tie. It's real clean, real clean um, with, this, with this bottle. And recently, I got some other samples of um, when I went out to Vegas and I picked up this Tom Ford Noir. So if any of you guys were interested in this fragrance and was wondering what this smelled like, these damn near 
smell identical like for real so if you already have Prada Amberome Intense you may not need to pick this up and if you have this you may not need to pick up this product anyway they um and I have I have this um, Norora on the Tom Ford on my left hand and they share the same exact vibe the Tom Ford's version um, it starts off with a, a clean soapiness just like the Prada Amber Intense but with this one in the midst the vanilla comes just like Amber Intense the only difference is the vanilla in this Noir is way sweeter and way sugar like it has like a like a waffle cone if you guys know what a waffle I mean I'm sure you know what a waffle cone is but it has a waffle cone sweetness of course so think of a vanilla ice cream with a sweet waffle cone and soap mixed in you know what I mean that's what you get out of this vanilla ice cream waffle cone with some soap this Prada Intense you get the opening from the original which is the hotel soap that soapy vibe which is black soap in my opinion you get that soapy vibe which goes into the vanilla with a little bit maybe it's incense maybe it's booze I can't I, to this day I can't detect what that note is but it's a vanilla with that accord and then it kind of just dries down and just becomes smoother throughout the duration of its life so that's pretty much what I get but this is definitely great fall and winter scent um, projection on this one when I wore it, I wouldn't say the projection is, is that great. Um, you probably you'll probably smell this around two feet, but the longevity on this, the longevity on this Noir isn't that great. But the longevity on this product intense, I'm getting a good eight to ten hours. So this is a great longevity um fragrance, man. I, I smell this all day long. Um it kind of stays close to the skin on me though, but I smell it all day long. If you put this on your clothes, it'll last for days. So Prada Amber Intense is definitely a good phrase if you're looking for something that has um, great longevity. Projection is moderate. Um, let's see what the sprayer looks like on here. Let's see if I can catch the sprayer. Sprayer is pretty good. Big mist cloud. They might even got some on my table there. This the sprayer is real decent on this. And now I'm at the opening. Even on the opening, you kind of get a um. You can smell the bergamot. So this has like a citrus blast in the beginning that I I. Don't remember picking up before. Yeah, so this has like an open. This has bergamot, so you do get a citrus blast in the beginning, but that that soapiness, the black soap vibes there, and the sweetness. So this is a sweeter, more masculine version of Prada Amber Home, um, and it's it's a great scent in heavy rotation in my fall winter. Um, so hey guys, go check it out. If you're looking for something different in your collection, you're looking for something kind of masculine, um, sexy, kind of formal, upscale a little bit, go with this part of Amber Ohm Intense. Great pickup. And if you're looking into this, Tom Ford's Noir, and you already have part of Amber Ohm Intense, there's really no reason to get this. Unless you want something that's a little bit sweeter than this. Like I said, this, this Tom Ford's Noir is a vanilla ice cream and waffle cone with soap mixed in so they're both decent fragrances I would probably prefer the Prada over this Noir but that's just me but anyway guys I just wanted to make a quick review on that depending on what the ladies say determines what I spray peace